but in true soap opera style, there's a drama in the form of local council regulations. If you wish to hold an event in the Tower Hamlets, must give a temporary event notice to us no later than 10 full working days before the event. My God, it will take us to the last week, aren't they? How will I cope with potentially, you know, having half a wedding? What? Because you'd have to have it in the pub? All my times watching the show, I can't remember actually seeing anybody getting married in the Queen Vic. What did I say at the start? You know, memorable. If I can't achieve memorable, then again, I, I, you know, I failed. Tracy's eyes, I won't be able to organise a piss up at the brewery. You know, I've committed to the pub now. You know, what are we going to do? With red tape threatening to derail the whole wedding, the boys are gloomier than a night in with Doc Cotton. All right, guys, so the theme I'm kind of chasing out wedding is going to be an EastEnders theme. Wow. wow. <laughs> the characters, I think, are everyday people. Yeah. I mean, that represents Trace and I and us. You know, we're just we're everyday just, people. Yeah. The only thing is we'll make sure, you know, with these endings, sometimes you don't have happy endings. I want it to be a happy ending this occasion. No, no, of course. It's going to be a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> Delhi wants his ending to be happier than a love affair on the square. And he has a plan. It would be good to get a representative from the programme, you know? If we can get, like, a character... Get out of my pan! <laughs> <laughs> Mickey! <laughs> Mickey! <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know if it's a possibility whether a celebrity actually carried out the ceremony. If you can pull it off... If we can pull it off... Yeah. Yeah. We can pull it off. <laughs> if we're going to do this, we might as well do it hard. Yeah, we might yeah. as well do it as, as authentic as possible. As long as we pull this off right and get everything, yeah. you know, spot on, you know, come and go. But first up, Delhi wants to make sure the setting for his wedding is authentic. Albert Square was based on a real-life park. Yeah. We might be able to find the name of it and maybe see if the council will give us uh, some type of permission. You guys understand the theme? You understand yeah. where I'm coming from? The biggest word is, is definitely going to be memorable. Yeah. So Delhi wants all those EastEnders essentials, an actual cast member, a real East End square for the ceremony, and a proper Queen Vic type boozer for the reception. To turn Delhi's soap opera vision into reality, the boys are heading to London's East End in search of the perfect square for the ceremony. We can't leave here without a venue. We need to organize that. We need to have that sorted today. My boy's pumped. Yeah. First stop, Facet Square, said to be the original inspiration for Albert Square. You know, I don't think at this stage you're going to get more authentic than that. It must be perfect. Yes? No. I don't like it. I don't like it at drive all. Drive round. Drive round. Should we look. drive? OK. I thought it would be oozing authenticity. These houses here should be representing what we see every day... In EastEnders. ...on the EastEnders show. It's all a little bit depressing. It's just an awkward space to work with. I just don't think it's an option. I don't think so. All right, let's go. Let's find somewhere else, guys. Yeah. Disappointing start, right? Yeah. Not what I thought. I mean, I just thought, you know, you'd be thinking, imagine seeing bloody the Brannings or Doc Cotton. Mm. Couldn't imagine any of that. With the original Albert Square not East Endery enough, the East End is turning into a bit of a dead end for the boys. How do you guys feel, though? Do you guys feel confident? Do you think we're going to find it? I, I don't want to get your hopes down, but I, I don't think we're going to find anything. And with Anthony directing, it's like searching for a needle in a haystack. You know where you're going, don't you, Anne? You're not taking us. I don't know where I'm going, but it looks familiar. I kind of know where I'm going. Take a right here. No, you can't take a right down here. It's too late now. Where are you taking us to, bro? It's not saying road closed. OK, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! How do you want us to keep going? Sorry. Q, a real EastEnder to help out. We're looking for Carlton Square. Carlton Square? Yeah. Do you know That's... any other squares? Well, it's Albion Square. Albion Square. Yeah. Would you say Albion Square is a place that maybe you could get married? Get married? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, you're making me very happy. You picked the right man, <laughs> 41 years on the job. Oh, I so like I, it. I should know that. Experience. Like That's why we thought we'd ask you. Right, guys. Seriously, who doesn't believe in Postman Pat? I do. 
So thanks to Postman Pat, the boys make their way to Albion Square. So what's your initial thoughts, guys? It's nice, I'm um, getting buzzing. Things are looking up. Albion Square even sounds like Albert Square. OK, the space is, again, slightly awkward, but a lot more possibility. It's an option and kind of, like, feeling better about it. Delhi might be feeling positive until he realises it is missing one essential. It's not going to pub, but it's a much nicer location. But no pub means no go for Delhi. And his search for the perfect square isn't following the script. Delhi's on a mission to find his perfect replica of Albert Square, with a pub on the corner just like the Queen Vic. No pressure, then. But they might have just stumbled across what they're looking for. Queen's head! Wow. Oh, look! Wow. This, is the one. this is the one. Wow, guys. I'm loving this. I am loving this, no? Yeah. Now, nah, brilliant, guys. The sun's shining. I feel a lot more uplifted. Let's get inside, because I'm getting a good buzz. It's clean. It's pretty. And we've got a pub. It's even called the Queen's Head. Yeah. Isn't that giving you, like, a little bit of a vibe that we're, we're climbing? And how Eastendery does it feel? I need a Ricky. Andy, we need a Ricky. Need a Ricky. Can we have a Ricky? Ricky! <laughs> big up, man. Big up. <laughs> I'm feeling this. I am proper feeling this. The next stage, I guess, now is to find out if we can, you know, make use of that space and start really pulling yeah. together. <laughs> I love you, boys, man. Fantastic. I love you guys. <laughs> and let's get out of there. <laughs> the next day. And with the pub booked for his reception, Delhi needs to find out if he can use the square for his ceremony. Rent, public, space, Tower Hamlets. But in true soap opera style, there's a drama in the form of local council regulations. If you wish to hold an event in the Tower Hamlets, must give a temporary event notice to us no later than 10 full working days before the event. My God, it would take us to the last week, aren't they? How will I cope with potentially, you know, having half a wedding? What? Because you'd have to have it in the pub? All my times watching the show, I can't remember actually seeing anybody getting married in the Queen Vic. What did I say at the start? You know, memorable. If I can't achieve memorable, then again, I, I you know, I failed. Tracy's eyes, I won't be able to organise a piss up at the brewery. You know, I've committed to the pub now. You know, what are we going to do? With red tape threatening to derail the whole wedding, the boys are gloomier than a night in with Doc Cotton. If this fails, you know, I won't be happy on, on my own wedding day. You've got a lot not to be happy about. You know, at this stage, you know, it's almost like throw the towel in. We had a go, but... Hands up, I, I, we, we can't plan a wedding. We, 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 we can't. Yeah, I think you're jumping the gun a little bit. You could say that. We still have to do it. This is, there's no other option, there's no other choices. We can't go back. So we just go ahead as planned. You fill in the form, you send it off. This is a massive risk. Massive gamble. Only the thing we can do is just wait and hope. Wait and hope and pray. That's the only thing we can do. With no sign of invitations, Tracy and Delhi's mum, Lynette, are worried. No family member has received invitations yet. Absolutely nothing. Surely, surely he would have had the venue booked. So why are the invitations not going out yet? I'm sure the venue's booked. Has to be booked. Yes. That would be the first priority thing that you would do. Has to be. That, you know, I can't see any later than that, and it's pushing it. Back at JP's, there's still no word from the council on if Delhi can use the square to make his EastEnders dream a reality. And he's still got a to-do list the size of Walford. Props, furniture, chairs, food, decorations. Just like, <sighs> feeling it, you know? I'm feeling it, and we come up to the halfway stage. Mm. 
And, you know, I just don't want that mad rush because that's when we're going to make mistakes. Just as things couldn't look any more bleak, Delhi gets the email his entire wedding dream hinges on. Oh, my God! <laughs> I told you I'd kiss you, Anne. Oh, my God! The square has been confirmed, and at just £375, it's as cheap as Ian Beale's chips. Now that we've secured the square, I just feel... Like, we can really, really smash this wedding out of the park and we can put all our attention into making it as great as possible. With the dress, pub and square sorted, it's full steam ahead on EastEnders Extras for the big day. Oh, wow. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Hi. I'm Delhi. Do you guys want to come through? Yeah, absolutely. Do you reckon getting an outfit like that to get married? I don't think that will work. No. You know, the only thing I think that's closely resembles that we could, we could probably use is maybe Pat Butcher's earring. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Delhi might need some armour when Tracy sees what he's hoping to deck the wedding out with. Oh my goodness, guys, this is a little bit more like what we're talking about. Even Wellhard's here. You know, the Queen bus looks very authentic. I just think if, the, if there's a possibility they can scale that down for us. We can change all of those signs. Yeah. And sort of like have it... Well, have centre. Uh, the Queen... I bloody like that. So how much do you think we'll be looking at? Just under £1,000. <sighs> just hold me up, lads. Hold me up. <laughs> <All right. laughs> 